So why is Kuma climbing up the red line? My best guess comes from when Kuma first crashed into the red line. The Navy says he may have served the Celestial Dragons, but his current purpose and programming are unknown. So that definitely could mean that Vegapunk could have programmed him for a specific purpose, or potentially this could be Kuma's free will right now. The first question I ask is why did Kuma even come back? It had to be for some kind of final stand for either Kuma himself or for Vegapunk. The next question I would ask is why would Kuma give his memories to Vegapunk in the first place? And if Vegapunk is telling the truth, Kuma made that decision himself. So how can we make this make sense? Maybe Kuma wanted to get revenge on the Celestial Dragons. And let's say Kuma asked Vegapunk, Hey, can you put a nuclear bomb inside of me? So then when I go to the red line, I can basically destroy it. And this would definitely make sense because Vegapunk was researching an infinite power source. Although Shaka says that he hasn't figured that out yet. But it might be possible that Vegapunk found a crude version of nuclear fusion like nuclear fission and created a nuclear bomb like we have in our world. And obviously Vegapunk would be all for this anyway because the world government was trying to assassinate him. And my last piece of evidence for this is that why would the world government send both Kizaru and Saturn to make sure that Vegapunk is dead? Like Vegapunk should have a very very strong ability for the world government to be threatened like this. So potentially it is something like nuclear fusion bombs or something like this. But yeah, that's all I got. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and follow for more.